let's move on to the Bucks. Yeah, as they're hold on. Let's yeah, the Bucks. Let's move on. Uh, Bucks best and worst case scenario for them. They obviously getting Tom Brady back went into retirement for forty days and then came back out. So funny, funny there. Uh, there's definitely a, some question marks that have come up within the last month. What are your best and worst case scenario for them? I'll just quickly say I am glad that Tom Brady didn't retire so that five years from now when Andrew Whitworth goes into the Hall of Fame, he doesn't have to be overshadowed by Tom Brady. He'll be the biggest true. star. He's the true, first Hall of Famer. And so that's that's like that's my silver lining to Tom Brady on retiring. Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> but as for best and worst case scenario, I think best case, obviously, they're, they're another team with Super Bowl. Super Bowl. Yeah. Like when you have Tom Brady on your team, that's your goal, win the Super Bowl, right? Uh, I do think their worst case scenario, though, is starting to happen. Um, right. Yeah. They, you know, yeah. they lost their center. They lost uh, a guard. You know, sure, they, they have Julio Jones, but can you trust him to stay healthy the whole no. season? No. I. Like they, they have absolutely they have weapons that can wreck a game, take over a game. You know, uh, you know Godwin coming back off injury. There's some question marks there, but I think he's still a great player. And then like Mike Evans, he's someone that can take over a game for you. Yeah. So I, I don't know. I'm I am expecting regression from the Bucks this year. Um, I don't yeah. expect I I expect them to win their division just because. I don't Not very trust. Good. I, I definitely don't trust the Panthers or the Falcons to fight for that division. The Saints, they're they're a little more of a wild card just because of that quarterback situation. But that defense can win you games with the Saints. Right, but, right, that's true. But I I still would say that all three of those teams are chasing the Bucks. So I would say worst case for them is getting surprised by the Saints. And and losing the division, uh, which I, like it would be a shock if they missed the playoffs. But I think I think that isn't the cards for them. Worst case scenario. Yeah, I think I think you're right there. Uh, winning the Super Bowl, their receiving core though is deep as ever. Once Chris Godwin comes back, you have Scotty Miller, Chris Godwin, Julio Jones, Russell Gage, Mike Evans. And then there was one other guy. Uh, I can't remember his name at the time, but he's he's also uh, there's one other receiver. So they have like six or seven receivers on that roster that are really good. I just named five that all Russell Gage is solid for the Falcons. Yeah. So I mean they have a very deep. The thing is, is like their offensive line. What is going on with that? I don't even know. Like they lost uh, Stinney. And then they also lost Ryan Jensen, and that's key because Stinney's lost for the year. Ryan Jensen's out. It's it's tough. And that and, offensive line, every great Tom Brady team has had a really good offensive line. Like, and he he's not he's at the point in his uh, career where he cannot be, be behind a bad offensive line. In my opinion, uh, you still have really good weapons, like you said, Leonard Fournette, D line. You have Vita Vea, Shaq Barrett, Devin White, well, Devin White is linebacker. You have a very good secondary, but there is that concern on the offensive line, and they, they've they've built um uh depth at other positions but that offensive line is like the one thing that 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 they expected to be good this year but now with ryan jensen going out with an injury will be out first whatever i think six games of the season or whatever that that could derail a, t a team season and and brady isn't someone that likes pressure in, you know uh no. up the middle right and are you gonna bootleg brady to the right like all no, games. no, that, like no. that's essentially what you're gonna try and do, right? If to, yeah, if, if you have you know defensive tackles that are gonna dominate your interior linemen, you have to move your pocket, so to speak. Right. So yeah, it'll be interesting to see. Yeah, and I'm looking up their uh schedule right now. The first like six weeks or so: Cowboys, Saints, Packers, Chiefs, uh, Falcons, Steelers, Panthers, Ravens, and then Rams. So that's like the first eight weeks. But you have a couple of really notable teams there. I mean, Cowboys are okay. Saints have a good defense. They'll be able to get after Tom Brady. Packers have a good defense. Chiefs are really good. Steelers are really good. And then Ravens and Rams towards the middle of the season are also really good. So that's that's, that's going to be tough. It's going to be tough for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so 